and these are the warehouse which is already previously created in the system so what we are going to do we are going to create we are going to create a new warehouse say 06 with a name and other properties so we'll go and hit the new button so we are in the add mode now we'll give the warehouse code as a 606 and the name as a steel warehouse or we can give identification code as well let's say for example we will say it is a st stwh this will be the code of the warehouse we can we can define the location of the warehouse where what's the location if if it is within the organization so no need to specify the location if 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 the company is operating with the multiple location we can define the location of the warehouse so i'll just select jamshedpur let me just go ahead and correct the name and then we can input the address so what whichever address is relevant to that particular warehouse we can put the address which is not mandatory but it is good to provide the all the information now suppose if you want to uh, enable the bin for this particular warehouse we can go ahead and click this option so the moment I click this option the bin location tab gets activated so with the help of this tab we can create the bin location for this particular warehouse at a warehouse level so this is a separator the number of uh, bin location if you see it is zero there is no bin location here okay so these are the property we can set for bin location so as of now we will say there is no bin for this warehouse and these are the information is given to create a warehouse in the system so we will go and create it we will say add so the moment I click the add button the warehouse gets created in the system let us go and see the warehouse I, I went to the fi find mode and I will put a star and find so now you can see that there is a warehouse STWH steel warehouse which is created in the system alright so this is the way we can create the we can set up the warehouse in the system now if I go to if I open the item master data if I open any item for example I will select one particular item say A001 if I go to the general tab sorry if I go to the inventory data here for this particular item which all the warehouse you can see the all the warehouse listed here on the left side you can see the name of the warehouse and you can see on which warehouse this item is lying it means that the item can be stored in a specific warehouse or in one warehouse or in a multiple warehouse so at the time of placing the order at the time of uh, receiving the material we can we can specify where we are going to store this material for example now we have created a warehouse ST we will go to the uh, GRPO goods receive purchase order to receive a material to do the inward uh, to receive the inward material what we do we, we recreate a goods received purchase order so while creating a purchase order goods I'll, I'll explain the goods received purchase order in, the, in detail so what I'm trying to say here I'm just trying to uh, explain how the warehouse is getting linked with the how the material is getting stored in the warehouse so at the time of receiving the material so this, this is the material received the from the from, from a particular vendor C Corp and you can see the warehouse is 01 for this material so the moment you receive the material you can say where you are going to receive you are going to receive in which warehouse so here user can select the warehouse so that particular warehouse the the item will uh, the item 